this is a pretty interesting space. Now, as I take a look at this space, it, it's, it's done as a library or study area, which... Very casual sitting area that we have here at the nice top area. of the steps. And then if I was to enclose this uh, railing, if I was to take the railing out and put a wall in here, I could then convert this into an additional bedroom. Right. This could be used as, as bedroom space or, you know, bonus space, however the family would choose to use it. Now, if this were a bedroom, we'd be taking uh, this area here that we've created a bookshelf kind of focal point for this casual study area, and this would be the actually the closet area closet if it were area, a bedroom. Right. And then when I when I look back here and I see that the the furniture starts to remind me again of the cabinetry mm -hmm. downstairs, that color scheme, and then I, I see that we have a sand colored uh, couch area mm -hmm. and your blue highlight yeah, area again blue highlight. mixed in here. We've so. taken that color scheme in the in the main bodies of the house and kind of created the flow again uh, in, in all of your main living areas. You notice that we've run the, the same carpet up the steps and through this little sitting area. Um, again, we're trying to create that continuity on all the main living areas. Now, one thing that does stand out to me is the wall. Mm -hmm. And I look at the wall and it, it kind of looks like almost a, a bit like of a combination yeah. of, of both colors mm -hmm. that we were highlighting downstairs, the lighter and the darker color, and given almost a stone or a marble. Right, yeah, we've used a textured kind of uh, application for the walls great for if you have kids and you're getting handprints on the wall so that's that's one of the reasons for that but uh, also too we've used the flip side if you notice like throughout the main body of the house we've had uh, about three or four basic colors that we've used different variations in every main room of the house it's not the same exact combination in each room we've used all different uh, uh, tones of those particular colors in all the main rooms of the house. So now, now, as you go into the bedrooms, you're going to carry these schemes or you're going to do different things? Well, it, the bedroom actually gives you an opportunity to break off from your main color scheme of the house and get a little crazy if you'd like. In the different bedrooms, you can do that. And, you know, you're talking about from a selling standpoint or, you know, changing down the road, the bedrooms are a fairly smaller area that you could change the paint colors. You could go a little you know, different in the bedroom areas without a lot of expense. Tie the bedroom schemes into the personality of the person right, that's exactly. in those rooms. Great. Exactly. Okay. Well, why don't we take a look at the bedrooms? Sure. Great. Well, Angela, this, this is our first bedroom that we're coming into here, and I see, again, the use of the moldings that we've had throughout the house. Um, one of the things that really looks different in here is the, the, the highlight color seems to really have come to life. We've actually brought that blue in and made that the focal color in this particular room and created a, kind of a tranquil feeling in here. The overall look of it is very cool and we've used that blue throughout the room in different shades, varying shades. And then I've noticed that we've actually uh, tucked the bed mm -hmm. underneath that row of windows there. It's, that's a nice detail to give you, give you a give little bit of fresh replacement there. Right. That's great. And then as I move over to the other window, uh, traditionally, that would just be a little walkout area, but it's actually been transformed into a window seat with the use of some cabinetry and just a, just a, a little ledge there. Um, you nice know, detail, very inexpensive. Very inexpensive, and you gain, have you, you've gained a little focal point for the room and a very usable focal point. As you mentioned before, we have the cabinetry underneath there, and we've created a little window seat just by you know throwing some pillows on there and, and created a little uh, uh, comfortable alcove to sit there. Well. These are nice colors. They worked out well. Mm -hmm. um, what's in store in our next next bedroom? Oh, wait and see. Okay, let's go. Wow, this is different. Tell me a little bit about this room. This is very different, and one of the key things that you'll notice in here is the color scheme. We've uh, chose to really highlight this room and punch up the colors a lot in here. We've used a bright red on the walls and some some warmer blues. But architecturally speaking, this room is exactly the same as the room that we just looked at. Two totally different looks just by using paint and some simple design uh, techniques. Now, one, one thing that's different in here that I, I recall we had a window seat with <laughs> cabinetry built in. This window seat is just basically a drywall window seat, uh, framing lumber drywall. Very inexpensive, very quick, easy mm -hmm. to make. And it and creates a really, yeah, it creates a nice focal point over there. And basically, this is just giving you a prime example of how you can take two very similar rooms and come up with very different end results. Yeah, the room really it really does look great. Thanks. But it's definitely different. It's definitely different. It's definitely different. <laughs> well, let's head down to the master bedroom and sure. see how that came out. Well, Angela, talk a little bit about this room. This is the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, 
look around, the colors are, are pretty much in line with the rest of the scheme that you've worked with throughout the whole house. Yeah, we kept it very basic. Again, the whoever uh, is the owner of the home can come in and do you know basically any color scheme in this room if you take out you notice our accent blue colors that are in the room if you remove all that you're left with a very neutral and easy to decorate room the basic mm -hmm. the basic starting point for right what you work with in all these rooms okay well the big, big focal point of this area I would think would be the master bedroom Absolutely. Bath, and, and I know that uh, there's a lot of nice features in there that Absolutely. we can talk about let's so take let's a look Angela, this is a great looking room. I love the, uh, the contrasting colors. Again, the vanity reminds me of the cabinetry downstairs. But it is a little different, isn't it? It is a little different. It is a maple cabinetry, keeping, keeping cost in mind. However, we've chosen a richer uh, uh, red-based stain on this, which gives the look of a cherry. Most people would uh, you know, look at that and think that's and, a cherry. And there's a raised panel. It's a raised a panel. It has a little bit of detail on it. Right. The, the, the top on it now is Corian, mm -hmm. which uh, we had downstairs, but this has a little uh, multicolor look it's a, to it's it. It's a, like a granite-type look, Corian, and we have the integral bowl sinks there. Makes for easy cleaning. Right. And then we have our low-flow faucets, mm -hmm. uh, and again, they're done in brushed nickel, which ties in with the rest of the home. And the hardware on the cabinetry right. we've chose to and highlight there. the low-flush toilets. Now, when I move over into the other side of the room here, I see that we have a, a great-looking built-in shower. Mm -hmm. and. This doesn't look like it was real complicated to build, does it? No, and, it, and again, it's an excellent opportunity of taking some very simple, uh, fairly easy things to do and creating a focal point in an otherwise very ordinary space. Right, so we just have a basic fiberglass base, mm -hmm. and then we have large 16 by 16 tiles mm -hmm. that uh, really surround the entire shower enclosure. and. Just very basic uh, seat in the back, yeah. and again with tile on that. And we've dressed that up by, if you notice with the tile, we've used a little mosaic in the middle and a little bit of a um, you know mosaic border, and we've tied that then in with our flooring, which is a little bit different that we've used. That is, and that's and that's not a very expensive thing to do either, no. is it? You have such a little area of tile there that Great. you can add some accents. Now the other the other focal point of tile in here is the floor, mm -hmm. and the floor really is different. It's it's got a honeycomb look to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does, and it and it actually creates a larger looking floor. Um, you know, although the tile itself is very small, um, on this particular area it creates more of an expansive floor look. It is great. Why don't we take a look at the other bath that the, the sure. rest of the family uses? Well, Angela, when I look at this room, this is a lot different than the last bathroom we were in. Tell us a little bit about how you came up with the scheme for this room. Well, Dave, one of the main things that I'd like to point out with this room is that we stayed within parameters in this room and used some standard items that were available when building the house. We've used a standard floor, standard uh, cabinetry, uh, standard countertop with a chrome faucet, and there are really no other architectural features in this room, but we've livened it up by using some bright dramatic colors on the wall, again in the blue, uh, blue tones to complement other, other colors in the house. We've added some punchy artwork, um, some, some decorative uh, floor coverings, and you can bring in your shower curtain and your towels and add some pop to an otherwise very, very basic room. This is a room that does not have to cost a lot, and be using standard items do not, does not necessarily mean you have to end up with a boring room. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's truly amazing what a little bit of color does to mm -hmm. a room. It, it, it came out great. Thanks. As we come back into the foyer, Angela, I could really appreciate the spaciousness of the foyer. Well, you can get a, a great idea coming down the steps of the height of the ceiling now, and it does, does create a very spacious, open feeling for this foyer. Yeah, no, it really does. Um, I gotta tell you, this was great. It was really enlightening. I uh, really appreciated the tour of the home and, and kind of got a better understanding of how we start in the kitchen and kind of worked mm -hmm. our way through and all the colors that, that really rolled in from one room to another. It was it was exciting. Good, really, I'm glad you really enjoyed appreciate it. it. So I'm glad you stopped by. Again, I wanna thank Angela Burke. Thank you. And I'm Dave Bonello for Simplex Home Showcase.